this is unboxing and assembly of the Ryobi 7 inch tile saw is model number WS722 WS722 uh, purchased this from Home Depot for uh, $130 plus tax um, the box as you can see it has this uh, alignment attachment to it uh, it's uh, a nice piece uh, um, the latch feels uh, sturdy um, the click feels good um, the table itself as you can see uh, is marked with measurement on both sides and uh, the measurement uh, is pretty clear um, so when it gets wet you could uh, still see the measurement and uh, the top is stainless steel uh, you lift up this cover it gives you access to the top that gets filled up with water these two attachments uh, helps uh, raise the tabletop to do uh, um, angle cuts on the tile all the manuals and attachments are contained within the top of the saw table um, I will show you how to put the blade in and how to connect the other attachments uh, as you can see it's pretty simple um, this tub has a hole in it I will show you later the valve there is a, a level line here uh, max fill line on the bottom uh, this is where uh, you can measure how much water you put in the saw blade itself uh, is included and uh, there are different reviews about the saw blade as uh, to a point of chipping uh, the um, uh, tile um, I, will, I will let you know uh, if I have the same experience with it uh, but that you know the, the blade seems okay um, 7 inch you could always buy better blades if that's something you want to do there are three pieces to attach the blade so the manual um, uh, not the best manual out there um, it is all uh, content based as far as uh, the language there are no visuals no images on how to uh, connect the different parts uh, there are different warnings and uh, it also it lists uh, the included parts uh, within this box uh, but the manual lacks uh, any sort of visuals to help you out assemble the table saw so you have to go through reading it line by line and figure out uh, which part is the one that they are referencing throughout the manual uh, nothing complicated but you know just could have been better with images so to assemble the blade you will need uh, to put this piece, uh, this washer first. Uh, it has a little notch raised from the inside. It helps center the blade uh, uh, through that shaft right there. Um, you could see a little bit of that notch coming through the blade to help center it. And then uh, you put the uh, second washer on the top. There's only one way this washer can go in because there's a groove on it. And then you put the nut in pretty straightforward, pretty simple, nothing uh, unusual here and then it comes with these uh, two tools it helps uh, tighten the uh, blade in place this uh, valve helps keep the water in and um, as far as the alignment goes you just have to make sure um, you align both sides because uh, there is nothing holding this uh, from the top side as you can see it's wiggly here on both sides so you could use the align the lines on the top of the table plus the measurement to make sure 
uh, it is straight. This piece holds uh, the cover of the blade in place and the cover of the blade not only is a safety uh, item to help uh, keep, you, keep your hands away from the blade but also it helps uh, uh, spray the water on the top of the blade and the tile. Um, attaching the blade is pretty straightforward, three screws, uh, two under the second part of the table cover you kind of uh, loosen those and the third one you take it off um, you uh, insert that attachment under the two screws uh, which goes in pretty easily uh, put them in place and then you put back the third screw in place as well The key piece, uh, the key part to this assembly of this part is just to make sure it aligns with the blade uh, uh, so that when you slide your tile through, it doesn't get uh, uh, stopped by it because it has to be aligned to the blade. And then you tighten the three screws and you should be good to go as far as that goes. This is the cover, blade cover, and as I said, it helps uh, keep the water in place as well. Um, uh, this one is uh, pretty easy to put on. Um, the screw goes in place, uh, and then you put the nut through, and then you adjust the height uh, of it uh, based on how your preference is. This valve comes goes in and out pretty easily. There's an oil seal on it to keep the water from uh, leaking. And then uh, you put the cover back on. And, uh, that's pretty much it for uh, as far as the assembly goes. comes with this part as well which is used uh, to help slide uh, the tile through in a straight line um, and also you could do angle cuts as you can rate, rotate this uh, especially for diagonal cuts it seems pretty sturdy it slides pretty smoothly the switch is under the table uh, top and uh, it feels pretty good actually to the touch I was surprised how uh, nicely the switch Feels. And I'm assuming that I'm, I'm not sure what I'm assuming should be waterproof since your hands could be wet as, as you turn the, the, the saw on and off. And it is glove friendly as well, so you should be able to turn it on and off uh, with gloves. It's super light, the table is super light. Um, there's nothing fancy about the table at all, it's basically a plastic top with a motor and a blade. That's pretty much what the table come uh, the table sock comes with right there. So um, to operate the saw, basically you open that uh, uh, right side, you start pouring in water um, up to that line there on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, after you put the water, you close the cover and uh, you adjust uh, your uh, guide there and then uh, you turn the saw on. I was surprised how uh, quiet it is. Um, uh, it's actually uh, I thought it's going to be a little louder, but it's actually pretty quiet. Um, when you operate it like that, it feels like you're just operating a water fountain somehow. 
and it splash the water throughout if you lift the cover. So here just to show you, uh, there is no water pump on this saw like overhead saws, which is uh, useful because you don't have to worry about the motor, the water pump getting clogged or anything like that. The wheel, the saw blade spins and that lifts the water uh, up to the table top and uh, that cover helps it drop back in. And to empty it is pretty straightforward as well. You lift the valve and the water comes down. Easy to operate from that perspective. Uh, this one is again, uh, they, they have two holes on the top to, not, to, to help you not to overfill it. Uh, I am assuming that line over there, that top fill line, aligns with uh, the two holes here. So uh, the water becomes level there and any extra will drop down. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like the video and uh, subscribe and let me know if you have any comments.